Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazmyshobbyland.com. I am feeling better. I am back in the saddle. I am ready to go. There's Bowman's Best. That's the break we're starting off with today. There you go. On a Wednesday, the 31st. What's going on with my camera here? Come on, camera. Unbelievable. How about we set the focus right about right about there? Aha. There you go. On the 31st, Bowman's Best. Pick your team number 19. Eight box break. This is the last case of Bowman's Best that we have in the store. We'll try to get some more. This is this is uh, traditionally year year over year. This is one of our uh, more popular products on Jaspi, so we'll try to keep getting as much as we possibly can. Not as easy as you might think it would be, because everyone likes this stuff. Uh, this poster here is for uh, it's for Series One baseball. There it is for 2018 Series One baseball, which we have in the store right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com. I will give this poster away in that Series One divisional break that we have on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Two, four, six, eight boxes right here. Good luck, boys and girls. What we're looking for here, obviously, is our 2017 prospects. Uh, they do have some veteran autos in here, too, which spices up this product a little bit. Let's get this going. All right, so good luck to everybody. Uh, has there been any big baseball news lately? Did any of the big free agents get signed? I don't, I don't, I don't think anything's been happening, really. Um... Looks like uh, Diamondback signed Alex Avila. Did Kevin Towers pass away? The old GM, Kevin Towers? Yeah, wow. He was young, 56. Rest in peace, Kevin Towers. Former Padres and Diamondbacks general manager. Oh, it was cancer. But yeah, after Lorenzo Cain... You know, and the Yelich deal that the Brewers, the Brewers made happen. I th I think that was it. Nothing else really has been going on. The Reds look like the Reds signing David Hernandez. I don't know if there's any other other news happening here. Uh, Blake Margot saying that the Cubs are looking to sign uh, Arietta to a four-year deal. Uh, I think. Arietta. I don't know if he wants that. <laughs> but maybe maybe he'll be forced to take it with the way this market has been. Yeah, everyone's saving for next year. All right. Well, let's see what we got for this one. Good luck, everybody. We got Atomic David Dahl. And we've got for, for my Dodgers. Mitchell White. That'll go to my boys in blue, Jesse, with the Dodgers. I believe he's on the uh, the the Bowman the uh, Baseball America Top 100, if I'm not mistaken. We will uh, be randomizing these mirror image cards left and right. And the other autograph is Austin Beck. For EA Sports, it's in the game. Eric with the Austin Beck, who was the A's, uh, the A's is, uh, 
number 10 overall pick or something like that. I forget. CJC, do I ever think about buying a team for myself? No, never. I feel like that's somewhat unethical. 16 out of 99, Ryan Healy. Because the second CJC, the second I get the, my Dodgers, and then I get like a one-of-one one Cody Bellinger autograph, somehow there's going to be salty people who think it's rigged. Kyle Wright, I know he's a top five pick for the Braves. Darren McKenzie with that one. Top five? Maybe. I should have this list up. I keep forgetting to bring up the MLB draft list every time I do this. Where's the Wikipedia page? There it is. Thanks, Wikipedia. Kyle Wright is number five overall. There you go. There's Brendan Rodgers, 250 for the Rockies. But yes, yeah, see, see, that, that's why I don't buy, buy my own teams. Because then I think people will get pretty salty. People will say, no, I won't, Joe. Me? I'm cool. I'd be cool. We get it. Keston Hiuda, that goes to Mike Coots and the Brewers. They'll be like, we get it. It's cool. Yeah, join Briggs, man. It'll be fun. It won't be. The, the second I get the Sandy Koufax one of one. Oh, rigged. What a scam. You know, okay. Funny how the funny how the breaker gets the uh, the best cards out of every case, huh? That's exactly what happened. You guys will turn on me like jackals in a heartbeat. That's what would happen. There's your first box. Uh, Bengals saying the Dodgers raised a season tickets again by a big chunk. Well, thankfully, I couldn't afford to buy season tickets in the first place. And I think the people that can afford to buy season tickets can probably afford that big chunk. Come on, you get you, and you get what you pay for. You got a pretty big payroll. People got to get paid. Trying to win a World Series, not cheap. Hey now, Rick. Come on now. They should cross over to the Red Nation. What is what is the Red Nation, Bengals Pride? Are you I don't know what that means. The Cincinnati Reds? Are you are you saying that that, that, that Dodgers fans in Los Angeles should should go ahead and start supporting the Cincinnati Reds? I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, the Angels? Oh, you, you guys don't call yourself Red Nation. That's ridiculous. No one says that. No one says Red Nation. Angels. Angels, well, well, Angels, are, Angels are like the Clippers. That's what it is. Angels will always be the Clippers. Yeah, sometimes they're going to be good. Yeah, that's fine. But in the hearts of Los Angeles, it will always be Lakers and Dodgers. They're in Anaheim, too. They're pretending that they're... Lo Anaheim Angels, Los Angeles, Anaheim Angels of Anaheim. Of, uh, what a slap in the face of Anaheim in Orange County. Out of 250, Will Myers. Angels so, so, so desperate to be like L.A. that they have to put it in their names. Come on, Anaheim. Come on, Mike Trout. There's Kevin Merrill, Oakland A's. That'll go to Eric and the A's. There's your Aaron Judge. Not even a typical Dodger fan response. This is a, it's a, that's just an LA, that's a lot of Los Angeles response. They're in Anaheim, they're in Orange County. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Noah Syndergaard out of 150. That's for the Mets. Big Boys 007. They clearly don't like Anaheim. They're, they've been trying to drop that name somehow. Like, should we be Anaheim Angels? No, let's be California Angels. You know, like, 
Trying to distance themselves. Trevor Clifton, what's up, Steel Curtain? What's going on? Angels, should, Angels are a fine organization. They should just embrace Orange County. You know? They should just embrace it. Los Angeles. Angels of Anaheim, of California County. Oh, that's nice. Nice Kyle Wright. Darren McKenzie with the Atomic Refractor, Kyle Wright. Your number five overall pick of the 2017 MLB draft uh, out of Vanderbilt. Definitely a, a college baseball powerhouse. That's one of the case hits, folks. Sometimes there's two of these. 22 out of 25. D-Mac with the Atlanta Braves. Thanks, Michael. I'm glad to be back in action as well. Dane Dunning. Dun, 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 dun. That goes to the last spot mojo, Tammy, with the White Sox. Nice. There you go. Let's get that straightened out a little bit. Nice. Do we have more? There's the Atomic Refractor mirror image, which will be randomized separately. That's a one per K sort of deal. Serenado. And there's Alex Fiedo, your first rounder for the Tigers. Uh, he was the number 18 overall pick in the draft. That goes to the Tigers. That'll be Big Boys 007. Those Bellinger and Aaron Judge rookie cards still carry some value. We'll see even top load those up. I, I am here, Ed Ramos. I made it. Made it a little sluggish today, but I'm sure I'm sure uh, I'll get to I'll hit a wall earlier than I normally do. Usually I I, I, I hit the wall. I think I hit a wall around like. 10 ish or so on my time. And then for the week, at least you hit, hit the week wall around, uh, you know, around Friday night, midday Saturday. We'll see how long I last today. Pro's been asking any NBA tonight. You tell me. How many spots are you going to buy? How many do you want to do? It's all up to you. We've got new releases up there, we've got status. Basketball up with superb owl squares attached to it. We've got Chronicles basketball also with superb owl squares attached to it. That's all on jazbeeshobbyland.com, ladies and gentlemen. So go over there, check it out. We can do as much NBA as you want. In fact, we should. We should do. We should do some hoops tonight. Am I working a double shift? When? Why would I do that? That sounds insane to me. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. That goes to Jeff Goldenthal and the Blue Jays. Oh, nice. So Prosman's in Chronicles already, folks. So if you want to get that going, we should. That's a that's a pretty inexpensive way to try to get yourself a uh, a superb owl square. The details of that promo are on jazpeacehobbyland.com. Check it out. Do it. Super Bowl is this Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not miss out. Drew Ellis. Atomic Refractor for Atomic Arthur and the Diamondbacks. That's 5 out of 25 on that Drew Ellis. Nice one, Arthur. There's Helio Ramos. 
going oppo on this is Jesse with opposite Joe Mojo, my rivals. Yeah, I hear you, Mothra. The double shift is insane. My vocal cords can only last for so many hours during the course of a night. If I was a cyborg, I maybe could do that. But even as a cyborg, I may, <laughs> I may make the decision not to do it using my artificial intelligence. Quinn Holmes with uh, for Eric and the Indians. And there were, you were, I guess there were no, I didn't see any, par did I miss any parallels? There's usually at least one of those per box, oh well. If I miss a numbered card like that or shipping team or when they're sorting things out, we'll usually catch those and ship them on to you. Uh, yeah, we, we broadcast Tuesday through Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 3 p.m. Pacific to 11 p.m. Pacific. So yeah, 6 o'clock Eastern to 2 a.m. Eastern. Um, no, I, I don't have the flu though. That's the thing. I, everyone just assumes I was out because if I was out, if I had the flu, I'd be gone for many more days than this. No, just kind of battling through a, a bit of a, a bit of a head cold. Still a little sluggish here, but no, we have we uh, we have a huge uh, we have we have big uh, hand sanitizers right here next to my desk. We hand sanitize all the time, probably too often. Ed Ramos, we probably hand sanitize so much that there's probably super bacteria that has been created here, and that's that that is now resistant to to all hand sanitizers. So whatever. Uh, so that those, so that Lysol is not going to help. You may have to just bleach your entire collection. <laughs> Don't bleach your collection, folks. That doesn't work. Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. Adam Kupperman with the Yankees. A CO Turtle apparently. Update on the laptop, folks. He's got a laptop. What was the issue, Andrew? So in case someone else has a similar problem, there's Hammer and Hank. And there's Joe Adele. Nice. Nice. Here's Joe Adele. Hello. It's me, Joe Adele. For the Angels, that goes to Karen with the Angels. The Los Angeles, California Angels of Anaheim and Orange County of Disneyland. And Tristan Lutz Brewers. Mike Coates with the... Uh, with the Keston Hiruda, and now a Tristan Lutz. Nice, that's four out of 99. Nice break for you. There's a Hiruda. Oh, nice. Mirror image, two out of 50. That's Rugnet Odor and Yohan Makata. So that'll be a randomizer right here along with these other guys too. And that'll be a le that'll just be a left right randomizer. Logan Warmoth for the Blue Jays. Warmoth going to Jeff Goldenthal. Yeah, this is a pretty this is a pretty quick break. Oh no, there's four boxes left, CJC. We only have like ten or fifteen minutes to go. See, there you go.
But yeah, it's a it's it's a solid 30 35 minute break. But it's one of those breaks that don't feel like it's that long. You know, it usually breezes by uh, pretty quickly. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. Thanks for joining us on a Wednesday. Got a couple of new releases on the site, ladies and gentlemen. So please check that out. We have uh, some basketball, some new basketball on the site. 217-18 Panini Status Basketball Half Case Random Team Breaks and a chance at Superb Owl Squares. You can also get into more baseball. New brand new release, 2018 Tops Series 1 Baseball. We have Jumbo uh, Six Box Breaks uh, and their Random Division Breaks with Silver Pack Giveaways, giving away Silver Packs. Is it too early to compare Kirsch with Marino? Good in the regular season, but can't win in the big dance. Uh, yeah, way too early. You know, barring any back issues for Clay Clayton Kershaw, he'll be he'll he'll have he'll have plenty of opportunities in his career. He's got a lot. He's got a long ways to go. There's Jason Groom for the Red Sox. That'll be for Tammy. There he is, there's Kirsch. And there's Brendan McKay. Two-way player, Brendan McKay. First baseman and a pitcher. This is pitching edition. Tampa Bay Rays, Jesse Rager with that one. But yeah, I mean, it, but Jaden is right though. It's hard to compare baseball to football, you know. It's hard to compare those two sports in that sort of way. You know what I mean? Like. There are a lot of people in the Hall of Fame that don't have a World Series ring. But you kind of have to have, you know, most quarterbacks will have to have a Super Bowl ring, you know what I mean, to, to you know, to be considered most. Unless you're just statistically insane, you know. Dan Marino. There's Jason Groom again out of 250. So for, for pitchers and for most baseball players, the winning of the World Series is not necessarily uh, is not necessarily a ticket to you know to, to to be considered great or even a Hall of Famer. Freddie Freeman at 150. That'll go to the Braves. Darren McKenzie. First auto is Derek Fisher for those for those damn Astros. King D and his Astros. That's his Astros, actually. Both the Astros and Dodgers retooling for this season. There's Michael Kopech, 82 out of 99, White Sox. That'll go to Tammy and Last Spot Mojo. And there's Evan White for the Mariners. Mariners, that'll go to Big Boys 007. David with that one. Well, we're going to see Dave in a few weeks or so. What? Yeah, in a few weeks. All right, three boxes go. Good luck. That Brandon McKay, I don't know if I said that, the Brandon McKay went to Jesse Rager. Did I say that? Tampa Bay Rays. Bengals Pride saying, I hope that Edgar Martinez makes the Hall of Fame soon. Uh, it won't be that soon. It'll be, it'll take about a calendar year, I think. No, but I think, uh, I think everyone seems to indicate that it should be it should be next year, actually. 
I think there were a lot of people on the ballot this year that were just a, maybe a notch or two ahead of Edgar Martinez, but but I think the consensus is is that his voting numbers have been going up uh, often enough or well enough to get to uh, to get to the Hall of Fame uh, next year. I know he did. He got, but he got he got close though. He's getting closer. And by next year, I think he should have the required amount of votes next year. I think he'll get there, though. He's a coach now, right? Isn't he like a hitting coach for the Mariners? Is that right? There's Brandon McKay in the field as a first baseman. And there's Alex Verdugo. Nice Alex Verdugo for the Dodgers. What is the Dodgers? That's what I was looking for. Jesse with my Dodgers. There you go. Verdugo. Next rookie of the year for the Dodgers. Make it three in a row. Maybe. He's certainly going to give... Uh, Jock Peterson a run for his money in spring training though. PJ Conlin for the New York Mets. That'll go to Big Boys 007. There's Adam Hazley for the Phillies. That goes to Blake. There you go, Blake. Blake, a little under the weather. Feel better, Blake? Uh, this is uh, where he is. I think the Phillies' first round, uh, first round pick. Yeah, number eight overall. It's a pretty solid one. Number eight overall. There's Ryan Healy, nine out of fifty for the A's. That'll go to EA Sports. Is that confirmed? Alex Alex Smith to the Redskins? Maybe it is. I don't know. DL Hall. I thought I heard some I I thought I heard some tale about that. Some tales being told about that. DL Hall Orioles Jesse. I'll look it up after this break. We can discuss it. Wait, is it a done deal? I don't know. I wasn't. I was. I was binge watching while I was like lying in bed. I like checked out on sports for a day, and now people are getting signed all over the place. What the hell's happening? Oh, it's confirmed as of late. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Any, anything else happened while I was sick? Like it's super official. Like it's. A, so where's Kirk Cousins going? See, now you got me talking football on a baseball break. Wait, so what else did I miss? What else happened? Huh. It's a sign and trade type deal, says Blake. Gotcha. That I heard. Yeah, that I heard. Guess what? I live in LA, so people were flipping out over that. Blake Griffin going to the Pistons. Uh, we do have basketball breaks available. We do have basketball breaks available on jazbeeshobbyland.com, folks. So check it out. We'll talk Blake Griffin. We'll talk Blake Griffin going to the Pistons. LeBron James and the Cavs playing terribly. And other basketball. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Yeah. Uh, that, I don't think that was, I actually don't think it was a horrible trade for the Clippers at all. They got a lot of pieces back for a guy that's injured a lot <laughs> and gets paid a lot of money to be injured a lot. All right. 
Ooh, a redemption. Any guesses? Maybe that guy? Aaron Judge? Tanner Hawk for the Red Sox. That'll be for uh, Tammy and the Red Sox. Doc Rivers is a great coach, though, Bengals Pride. I, I wouldn't be so quick to let him walk away. Trouble is, I don't think he wants to be on a rebuilding team. And trouble is, uh, tr the other trouble is, is that you don't want him to make, which I think they took away from him this year, uh, GM decisions. Like you, you know, He tried to do both. He tried to be like the guy for everything, but that doesn't usually work. Uh, White Sox. Tammy with the White Sox as well. She has the Red Sox and she has the White Sox couple socks and now a delicious burger to go along with it Booney who's who's a who's a Cavs guy yeah the Cavs are in trouble who can you trade though what are you going to trade? Who are you going to trade? There's Mitch Keller. Uh, the C, uh, it doesn't, it was from, it was directly from Panini. Scott. And there's Daniel Murphy. The Mitch Keller goes to the Pirates. That goes to Seal Kurt. Michael Gluch, you got that one. There you go. There's Daniel Murphy. <laughs> but you, you think the Clippers are going to be on the map, Bengals? Right? Come on now. You're not serious about that. You realize that Clippers, they traded away Chris Paul, right? They don't have Blake Griffin anymore. DeAndre Jordan's going to be gone, too. Lakers trending up. Clippers trending down. Rebuild time again for the Clippers. All right, you are due to receive a raking rookies autograph parallel Ooh, it's probably Andrew Benatendi now. I thought it was going to be Aaron Judge. D, yeah, that's Andrew, and that's Ben Benintendi. There you go, Tammy with the Boston Red Sox. This is a nice one. There you go. Uh, I don't know what these are numbered to. That's a good question. The raking rookie. Oh, might as well look it up. I've got time. Raking rookies. I don't know what they're usually numbered to. But there's not very many. There's only 10 cards in that raking rookies insert set. So it's gonna kind of look like it's gonna look like this, uh, Tammy. It's gonna kind of look like that, but with an autograph on it. So there you go. Uh, it just says autograph parallel. I don't know what that's gonna be, but it should be pretty cool. There you go. Last box. Good luck. I know. I I thought it was going to be another Aaron Judge as well. We pulled an Aaron Judge a couple cases ago. Redemption. Uh, well, Booty, now you know how the how how the Lakers felt, how we felt when we signed Kobe Bryant to those two years, at the end of his career. What people forget was that Kobe Bryant actually took less money. Lakers still had like max contracts to give away. Also pre-injury as well. But, but went downhill pretty quickly. 
after that. Steve Nash was a mistake. All right, folks, last box of the baseball. This is what happens when there's no baseball news. We end up talking about other sports in a baseball break. We'll talk golf in the next football break. Stay tuned for that. And we'll break down the Australian Open. What's next? Is it French Open next, tennis-wise? Tennis fans? All right, another Austin Beck autograph. You see that like that's the bad thing, Bengals Pride. That won us championships. Out of two fifty, Ryan Healy. Oh, and Palgasol and Shaq. Ryan Healy for the Oakland A's. That'll be for EA Sports. It's in the game. Then we've got Kevin Merrill for the A's, another one for Eric. Eighty-two out of ninety-nine. Eighty-two. Ninety-two out of ninety-nine. Can't read. Another Kevin Merrill. So, so there you go. Oh, uh, Eric, Kevin, Mer starting your Kevin Merrill PC, whether you like it or not. Yeah, no, no ball hogs of the Clippers, though, right, Bengals Pride? Chris Paul? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, no, no ball hogs there. Christopher Say 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 I have yet to know how to pronounce his name. Uh, no, NT Baseball is right after this, Brian. Oh, this is our first break of the day. Rangers with this autograph. That'll go to Big Boys 007. And there's Dansby Swanson and Aaron Judge at the end. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is your Bowman's Best break. Our last case for the time being. This is break number uh, 19 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to everybody who got into this and all 19 of our Bowman's Best baseball breaks. We love this stuff. We'll try to get some more, obviously. Um, you know, it's just, it's just not like going to the store and grabbing up a couple of Bowman's best cases off the shelves. It's not not how that works. But we'll do. We will try to get some more. Uh, we'll go left right randomizer on this. We'll do the one per case left right uh, two team randomizer on this one. And then this one obviously is numbered out of 250. So this will also be a separate randomizer between the Rangers and the White Sox. So let's pop over to random.org. Let's get some dice. Let's get three lists. One, two, and three. We'll go left, right first. Then we will go Red Sox and Angels. Then we will go Rangers and White Sox. All right, so good luck. We're going to roll the dice for all three of those lists right there. So six and a four, ten times for each list. One. Two, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Left side, we'll get him. So everyone on the left side, and it's almost as if Tops had predicted this. Illuminati, Stan, uh, that'll go to the stand side, left side for all of those normal cards. And then for the atomic refractor, it'll be Red Sox and Angels, two red teams. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Red Sox will get it. Tammy with the Red Sox. So I think that's the, that's a pretty good... If Joe Adele ends up being like Mookie Betts, I think Angels fans would definitely take that. All right, and the last one. Ten times, Rangers and White Sox. Rudnet Odor and Yohan Mankata. One, two, three, four. I, although I think 
Yohan Makata's ceiling is higher than Rubenet Odor's. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. White Sox will get it. That'll also be for Tammy. And that's last spot mojo. And there you have it. That's two out of 50. That card is gold, by the way, Tammy. And there you have it, folks. Wednesday, first break of the day. 2017 Bowen's Best Baseball, pick your team number 19 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for joining us, folks. We'll see you next time for the next one.